Okay, let me explain a little bit about the basic idea of Wing Chun, and then you may understand a little bit. All right. Now, physically, I'm an old man, like almost 60 years old. Like no matter how many bowls of rice I eat now, I won't be grow taller than my student Lawrence. He's taller than me, he's bigger than me, he's stronger than me. He got more power than I have, and he have a longer reach than I have. So, now, show me the, the reach. So he can hit me on the face. No, no way that I can reach to him, because like, the reach is almost a whole fit dis difference. All right, now for instance, just for instance only, it's not to compare any martial art. Now for instance, suppose he come in to hit me. He hit me, I block, boom, I hit him, boom. I hurt him, I hurt him, if I am that fast. But unfortunately, by the time when I block, boom, he hit me first, <laughs> before I hit him. So because I physically and bodily, he's larger than me. So, if I using that kind of technique to fight, I would definitely end up an exchange blow, or I would get punched before I hit him. But in Wing Chun, we don't do it this way. In Wing Chun, we are using our body mechanism, like uh, we are using defense and offense simultaneously to counter certain technique. This is only like a scenario. I'm not saying you have to fight like this. Uh, this is some kind of basic training we do in our classroom. But later on, fighting is a total different story. Because fighting, we consider consisting a lot of uh, theory, uh, timing, technique, speed, reflex, and so and so, so many things that we can talk about that later. Now, for instance, when this guy throw me a punch, boom, that's the same time I hit him. Because I once I put up a hand, uh, this is like body language. If I put up a hand like this, I'm going to invite him to hit me on the face. All I do is cover myself. The same time, boom, cover, I hit him already. The same time I do defense and offense simultaneously. It's not that I hit him hard. Uh, let me explain this again. Suppose you put a palm like this. When I hit the palm, boom, I will blow the palm away. It won't hurt him. Because no matter how hard I hit, I blow it away. But how about when he walk in to attack me? Boom! He walked to the punch. It's not that I hit him. Like some people walk himself to the chair. It's not the chair hit you. You walk to the impact. Like the car driving five miles head on. It has a lot of impact. Almost double, triple the power. That's Wing Chun's idea too. All right. When I come to an encounter with somebody, I will not know which hand is hitting me. So that's why there's no set technique in Wing Chun too. But when he attacks me, he attacks me, boom, I can get him right away on the side too. Uh, this is called Pak Da in Wing Chun. In Wing Chun, basically, we have only three forms. The Siu Lim Tao, uh, people say that the in, little imagination. A second form called Cham Kyo. Is the searching for the bridge. And the third form is uh, called Biu Ji, the thrusting finger. All right? And, but after you learn the form, you will learn sticky hand. And later on, when you can handle sticky hand, and you start learning the wooden dummy. After the wooden dummy, you learn kicking, and then you learn the tripo kicking form. Uh, this chi Chinese, we call it the Ban Ji Zhong. Uh, actually, all the form it's not teaching you how to fight. It's only like what I said before. It's like the alphabet or English. Then so you have to break it down or combine them, how to using it. And now I show you, uh, my student will help me to show you the first form. We call it Siu Lim Tao. The little imagination. And later on, I will break it down a little bit and let you understand how we combine the alphabet to get together to make a a word, or what we call it, a simple technique for basic simple training.